Hello, teachers, and welcome to Module 6, the Phonics Module. My name is Libby Manning, and I am excited to be working with you through this module as you see what an incredible gift you are giving to your students. You are teaching these young children to make sense of seemingly random symbols on a page. You are giving them the gift of order through orthographic mapping, the gift of being able to take these orthographic patterns and to use these to make meaning from pages of print for the rest of their lives. And this is a gift that once given cannot be taken away. As we know, the ultimate goal of reading is comprehension, and that is what is measured by the NAEP, the National Assessment of Educational Progress. Sadly, the 2022 NAEP report showed that 72% of Louisiana's fourth graders scored at a basic or below basic level, with the majority of that figure being below basic at 43%. In order to free up cognitive space to do that heavy lifting of comprehending the text, the reader must already have a strong neural pathway built that works in the background of their brains to seemingly automatically decode the words on the page. You, as K-2 teachers, are the very engineers of this pathway, and you create it through strong, systematic, explicit, cumulative, and multi-sensory teaching. This module contains information to strengthen your knowledge so that you may add even more to this gift you bestow on your students. Research shows that a teacher's knowledge of phonics affects his or her ability to teach phonics. We all know that we teach better what we know well. The contents of this module are designed to deepen your understanding of phonics. You will learn about the power skills of segmenting and blending and how they affect children's ability to both decode and encode. You will learn more about the reading brain and look at what structured literacy lessons look and sound like in phonics. You will deepen your understanding of how to plan and teach strong, systematic, explicit, cumulative, and multisensory lessons. And you yourself will expand your knowledge on how 26 letters are used in over 250 ways to create graphemes that represent or spell the 44 phonemes in the English language. So stand tall and take great pride in what you do. You gift your students with the development of this neural pathway that literally opens up the world to them. As Alberto Manguel states in his book, The History of Reading, the existence of the text is a silent existence, silent until the moment in which the reader reads it. Only when the able eye makes contact with the markings on a tablet does the text come to active life. All writing depends on the generosity of the reader. So, through this neural pathway construction, you are creating that able eye to bring the silent markings to life. 